Ever since I was young, I've had an interest in sports. As a kid, my dream was to be a Formula One driver. It still is, actually. Aside from that, I played football, tennis, rugby, cricket, all of the classics. However, none of them really quite gripped me like fencing did. From the age of nine up until a couple of years ago, I was fencing and eventually competing internationally. I learned a lot from sport and competition, and it's played a major role in my life. So when the opportunity arose to create a promo ad for the very fencing academy that started it all, it was simply a no-brainer. Okay, so you've just seen my first ever sports ad, commercial, promo video, whatever you want to call it. Um, and I've got to say, I'm really proud of what I've done. That's my first proper kind of production with multiple different days of shooting and lots of other things going on. So I thought it'd be interesting to go through the ad, speak through some of the scenes and kind of break down my editing, thought process uh, and all sorts. So let's dive straight into it. Uh, starting off with this main scene, this is the logo for the Hertfordshire Combat Center. Um, this isn't actually the fencing academy as such, but it's a new uh, kind of venture that is started by the same people. This tagline was something that they wanted me to include the heart of St Albans because it is based in St Albans in Hertfordshire. So if you're interested, I'll also leave the link to their website so you can check out everything that they offer. Okay, so this is the first shot of the whole ad and it's simply an establishing shot. It's just chosen to kind of show where we are because if I got straight into the action, it might be a little bit disconcerting because you as the viewer don't know where you are. So it kind of gives you a rough situation. It's nothing too fancy, just a nice little pan down and gives you context for where you are. One of the really cool bits about this combat center is this new interactive light up floor. And it's something that the client really wanted me to highlight in the video to kind of emphasize as it's one of their major selling points of this venue. This close up shot here is just simply to establish someone walking in. You don't really have too much context as to who that person is. And they're walking up to this line, which seems very regular, but this is the shot that invites and starts up the rest of the ad and introduces that concept of the lights. That transitional shot was shot on a tripod and it was simply just two shots pieced together. And to mask the transition, I added in some artificial camera movement because obviously when it was static, it looked really obvious and wasn't as interesting. And plus, because the rest of the video has a lot of movement in, introducing that movement into it, building up the energy as the music and the DJ section starts, that really kind of builds the energy for the rest of the ad. Okay, so the next scenes are introducing the three kind of main aspects of the video, which is the DJ, the kickboxing, and the fencing. And they're some of the sports that the combat center offers. There's much more, but they're the main ones we wanted to focus on. The introduction of a DJ into this video was uh, an idea from the client, which I thought was really cool. And as the floor is interactive, it interacts with the music. So it was kind of lining up with what the DJ was playing. In the end, the soundtrack that we used wasn't the exact same one that the DJ actually played uh, because it was copyrighted, but it still kind of gave the same effect. So 
something that was really important in this video uh, was ensuring that we had good sound design. So as you can hear over the sound of the music, we have those details. They weren't recorded in camera um, because some of the shots were shot in slow motion. All the sounds of the punching and the swords is all added in afterwards, but it really adds to the whole sound design and uh, audio experience listening to the video. So if you do go ahead and watch the video, make sure you listen to it with headphones. Okay, just before we get to the major part of this video, um, all of these shots building up to now are building up to this big crescendo, which is in the music, and I wanted to build up to this major point. When I was filming these shots, I made sure to have quite a lot of camera movement because these are action sports. They look really tame if you just film very steady and still. So adding in that little extra camera shake and movement, obviously not excessive amounts so you can still see what's going on, uh, really adds to the kind of dynamic and energy of the video. So up until that point, we're building up to that kind of main crescendo point where you've got that big old punch, uh, which is quite a satisfying thing to watch. Like it builds up and, and it hits at the same time. It's kind of visually and kind of audibly uh, satisfying for the viewer. That's kind of the best way I can put it. So it's quite a nice way of kind of building up and then continuing the energy throughout the rest of the ad because it is a fast paced ad. For this video, I felt it was really important to keep mixing between close-up, wide, and medium shots throughout the entire video. This helps keep it a little bit more dynamic and more interesting for the viewer, because if you have too many close-up shots, you lose context, you don't really know what's going on, you don't really feel like you have the full picture. Wide shots give you that context that you can then mix in with those close-up shots, and the medium shots are a great middle ground between the two. Then there's another drop in the song, which also hits with another punch. It's a familiar action. It's happened previously in the video. And again, it's quite visually and audibly satisfying. Uh, and that goes straight into a similar action. So the action of the punch, which kind of comes over a little bit, I've copied that motion with the camera and this was shot in camera as well for the next shot, which creates quite a nice transition uh, that kind of passes through that punch into the fencing shot, which I was quite proud of. I quite like that. And then right at the end, ending with a big action, big dramatic kind of ends in suspense, which kind of makes you want to find out a little bit more um, and then finishing with the logo. So looking back at this, there are a few things that I would have changed and I'd do differently now. First of all, I would have rented out a gimbal. I used to have a gimbal, but my new camera setup is a little bit too big for it. There are some shots in there that I would have preferred to be a little bit more steady and would have suited a gimbal type movement rather than handheld. And secondly, I would have added one of my little lights on the DJ. This was something that I should have noticed on the day, but I didn't. And unfortunately, in some of the shots, the DJ is a little bit darker. It's not an absolute deal breaker because he isn't the focus of the video, but it would have been nice to have a little bit more light on him. But regardless, I'm really happy with how this video came out and I'm glad I've tried something new. I hope you enjoyed this little breakdown of the video. It wasn't too in depth because I don't want to bore all of you, but at the same time, I wanted to give you a little behind the scenes as to my thought process and breakdown of some of my client work. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe so that you can see more videos just like this one. I'll catch up with you on Friday.